We are here in Ghent uh, for the first international Crop Diva Symposium and it's about agro-biodiversity along the value chain. So a lot of speakers are invited and during the next days a lot of topics will come on the table and topics in relation to of course cropping systems but also genetic diversity also on food uh, processing uh, and the, the final uh, the final goal is yeah to develop new value chains based on minor crops I think uh, the six crops that will be used uh, in the Cordiva uh, project uh, will have a, an opportunity to, to reach the market with, with different kind of products. Uh, probably uh, we need uh, some technologies to, to improve the, and to change some technologies to control and to improve the process. But some of them uh, will have a, clearly a, a, a market uptake depending on the final cost of these products, of course. After the discussion today, I hope the people uh, that were at the symposium, the scientists, will realize that it's not easy to market um, locally sourced uh, products and that we will need to convince consumers uh, to pay an additional price at this time. Breeding is one of the key points, it's the starting point. It starts all with the idea in the head of a breeder. And then, of course, to bring this idea alive is, is part of breeding, to bring it to farming, to bring it uh, to processors and in the end to the consumers. So this, this whole range, this better understanding, that all starts with the breeding and the problems with the breeding. I think there needs uh, to come a more demand by, uh, by the consumers uh, to the new uh, crops. So um, when, when we grow a new crop, there is a consumer who wants it to, uh, to eat it.